Welcome everybody to the third day of OSLC Fest. Uh, today we also have, uh, my name is Ron Gary. I will be uh, the moderator today. Um, and today we have an interesting, very interesting program as well, which is focused on uh, uh, researchers and uh, students doing all kinds of uh, uh, interesting uh, explorations with OSC. Uh, so we start with our uh, uh, first uh, presentation. So the first presentation is, go is OSC uh, supports model integration in model-based system engineering, uh, the Karma approach. And uh, the uh, presenter is uh, Rui Chen. Uh, Rui is a master's uh, student at the School of Mechanical Engineering, Beijing Institute of Technology. Uh, she received her BA degree in industrial engineering from Haifa University. And uh, her research interests include model-based systems engineering, tool chain design, and service-oriented data interpretation. So welcome, uh, Rui, and you, uh, you may start. Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. I'm very glad to share our research achievement here. I'm Rui Chen from Beijing Institute of Technology. Today, I want to share our experience about the OSLC supports model integration in model-based systems engineering, Kama approach. I'm a master's student in BIT. Dr. Jing Lu and Professor Guo Xin Wang are my supervisors. Shou Xuan Wu is our teammate. Our team will focus on research about the leading edge method used in MBSE, especially the design of modeling language with the partner in EPCFL and KTH. We develop, developed a new modeling language named Kama to support domain specific modeling. Besides, our team also focuses on MBSE tool chain development, and we want to combine the Kama language and the OSLC specification to improve design automation. In recent years, our team has achieved some academic impacts in the field of MBSE. And just talking about our background to introduce what motivates us to use OSLC. In the digital transition of a product design, the model-based systems engineering is considered as a useful way. The MBSE uses different models to formalize the system. However, these models are de developed with different modeling languages, which means they have different syntax and uh, semantics. For example, the meanings of activity in SysML and in BCMN are totally different. Different meaning leads to challenges to exchange knowledge among different stakeholders. Besides, these models are developed by different modeling tools. These tools have different data protocols and mechanisms. Uh, for example, the commercial tool Magic Draw uses XML to store the model information, and the Simulink uses binary files to save models. And also, without two inter interoperation, the consistent understanding of the model by different stakeholders in the code development process is impossible. So it is very urgent to achieve model integration and interoperation. Before we talk about our approach, let's see some existing tool interoperation method. First is developing point-to-point -point interfaces such as developing Madalika tool interface in SysML modeling tool. Obviously, it is a very direct way and has high fidelity of data transformation. However, it also has poor reusability, high development and maintenance cost costs, and it is vendor locked. The second way is using middleware, such as using the CHIMI, JSON, RDF, or confirming to some domain standards like STAMP in 
city tours. It is very flexible. However, some middleware is not human readable and lacks the user interface. The PLM platform is another way, such as the Winichill platform. It has high scalability. However, it also vendor locked and has poor data migration ability. And that's why we choose OSLC. It is not only provides a set of mental models, such as service provider catalog, service provider and service resource, resource ship, et cetera. To fill the gap between different models, it also provides useful UI dialogue for interaction. And based on OS of the specification, we have proposed a service-oriented approach supporting model integration in MBSE, especially for integrating system architecture model and simulation model in our approach. We use the OSLC code model to transform architecture model and the simulation model uh, and design some mapping rules between OSLC model concepts and the zone. We also developed OSLC adapter for Monolica to transform Monolica models and APIs into online OSLC services. Uh, and let's go further by introducing an example. This example describes a vehicle performing a NED set drive cycle powered by the external speed source. We carry out physical architecture modeling and simulation modeling for it. The energy required to move the vehicle over the drive cycle will be evaluated, and the attributes of the vehicle that have impacts on energy required include total mass of the vehicle, area of cross section of the vehicle, fuel radius, and other factors. The reference the Modelica model library is from GitHub, attached below, which is developed for mechatronic design. The common language enables us to design many model for domain specific modeling. For example, we can design many models for physical architecture design of the vehicle drive system. The Kama language adopts seven mathematical models, including graph, object, point, property, relationship, rule, and extension. First is the object is the graph. A graph is a collection of objects and their relationships, and it is represented as a single window. For example, the model view of the vehicle drive cycle we have seen can be considered as a graph, and the object is one entity in the graph, such as the integrator in the model view can be considered as an object. Point is one part in the object, such as the point U can be viewed as a point, and the relationship is one connection between different points of objects, such as the connection between points of a power sensor and a force sensor. Rule is used to define the connection rules for relevant relationship. For example, one relationship may have two rules about the inflow and outflow. Property is one attribute of the five other mathematical models, such as the name property of the speed object. And based on the Seven concepts we can use common language to customize domain specific modern library in the model in tool mental graph, which is a multi architecture tool developed by Beijing Zhongke Fengchao. And in this case study, we have constructed the system architecture model of the driving system. And in the vehicle drive cycle model, we set the initial value of the mass attribute of the vehicle model to. 1,000 kilo, kilograms. Uh, the multi-domain modeling language Modelica is used to create uh, simulation models. By analyzing the model structure of Modelica models, we extract uh, a set of mental models. Similarly, the Modelica model, mental models include package, model, subsystem, connector, component, uh, uh, connection, and uh, parameter. 
the the Monolithic model vehicle drive cycle can be generated by using code generation in modeling tool or mental graph. It is used to simulate the traction, power, and energy consumption required to drive the vehicle at different speeds during driving on the road. The detailed of architecture model of the system is shown in the figure. The, de the design of the subsystem is driven by an external speed source by assuming the speed of the vehicle at different moments in a period of time as an input value. Uh, a force and power sensor is used to record the traction force and power required to try drive the vehicle. An integrator is used to calculate the energy required to drive the vehicle during the drive cycle. And a vehicle model is used to simulate the car. And based on the above the model, we perform simulations. The result show that the energy required over the drive cycle exceeds the reference energy maximum. Uh, considering the impact the impact of the total mass of the vehicle on the energy consumption. The simulator modifies the value of mass from 1,000 kilograms to, 900, oh, uh, to 950 kilograms to meet the requirements. But that is not the end of the story. Remember that in the architecture model, we are still have the parameter of 1,000 kilograms in total mass. So how does the, the, the system engineer know about the change and modify the value of the property mass in the corresponding architecture model? Uh, to, to solve the, this problem, we propose a set of approaches. First, we establish semantic mapping rules to translate model architecture and APIs into a statistical model. Then we developed OSLC adapter to transform them into OSLC services. Finally, an OSLC plugin will be developed for leaking OSLC services within system architecture modeling tool. And for the first item, we analyzed the model structure and proposed a set of mapping rules between different model elements and OSLC code model, tagging Modelica model. Uh, as an example, the concept package is uh, is considered as a service provider catalog because it can be view, uh, can be viewed as a a directory to store models, and a model can be mapped to a service provider because it can provide services of its subsystem components or other model elements. The API is for creating, retrieving, updating, and deleting the elements of model of Modelica models are considered as services, such as the API is for viewing, viewing the topology of a model or modifying a parameter of a component are mapped to services. And the model subsystem component and, and so on are considered as resources. Uh, after establishing the mapping rules mentioned above, we use an adapter generator tool named data links to construct two adapters confirming to OSLC code models. For example, we define the results of a Modelica model uh, contains properties such as such as the subsystem component connection, exact, exactly just as the mapping rules defined by form based configuration. Uh, the code framework of a Modelica adapter can be generated automatically. Then we will tag the Modelica model vehicle drive cycle in this case study as an example to introduce the semantic mapping rules and uh, show the adapter user interface in detail. First, the package of electrical mechanical drives is mapped as a service provider catalog because it can be viewed 
it can be considered as a directory to store models such as a vehicle drive cycle. And uh, the model vehicle drive cycle is mapped to a service provider because it contains many other model elements such as the component of uh, the, the, the subsystem of vehicle and the component for sensor. And this is the user interface of the adapter. Uh, the, then the API is for retrieving the tree. Is, is it only my problem or anyone else can hear Rui? No, I, her video froze and I can't hear her either. Yeah. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Yeah, we lost you for one second. You, you can, can you, can you speak now? Um. Yeah. Okay. Please continue. Oh, I'm sorry. My internet is, is not very good. Maybe. No. Now everything is okay. You you can continue. Okay. Okay. And uh, the APIs, the the APIs. The API for retrieving the model vehicle drive cycle is mapped as a service, especially as a querying service. Actually, that um, is when we click the above the querying based UI for resource querying service of, of vehicle drive cycle, we can access a user interface which displays the model topology, component list, and the component property, just uh, totally the same as the uh, modelic model we constructed before. So in the interface, we can see the vehicle model and its parameter value of uh, mass value of 950. Uh, we also developed a, a tour plugin in Manta graph. This plugin is used to pass the model information provided by OS or the adapters. For example, we copy the URI. We copy the URI of the OS or the resource about the vehicle total mass and then pass passed, passed in the plugin. And then the plugin will, will pass the URI and send an HTTP GET request to the adapter and get the JSON data. The the uh the form the the form window will load will load the JSON data and realize it. By this, we can modify the mass property in Kama model by using the OS or the services of modeling of modeling models. Uh, so let's come to a conclusion. By using OS OS or C, we got the following benefits. First. The OS Oracle model provides scalability for integrating different models according to users' own requirements. We can develop we can develop our own mental model to design the OS Oracle adapters. Second, the OS Oracle is not a data re replication way. The linked data principle ensures the OS Oracle to dynamic operation on data itself. So. The data redundancy is reduced. Finally, the OS also provides an end to end integration ability within domain tools. It can be easily reused and really promotes the efficiency of data integration. And next is a short video demo. And this is the basic architecture model. This is the code generation script. And it can generate the model Lika models. And we can just uh, manually uh, modify the model Lika models and import it into the open model Lika. And we check the vehicle, the mass is 1000 and do the simulation. And we check the simulator results. 
and modify the value to 950 and rerun the simulation. Uh, next, this is the OSOC adapter for the Modelica model drive vehicle drive cycle. We can check the vehicle subsystem and its value is 950. And copy the URI and return to the main graph. Paste the URI and pass the JSON data. Get the modified value. And the future work. Uh, in the future, we want to merge the OSOS Analytica adapter into our digital thread platform. In this platform, we take OSOS as underlying data specifications. This platform can be used to support traceability management of MBSC models in model level and the version management of MBSC models, the continuous integration of MBSC models and the workflow management will be also included in this platform. Um, next is question and answer. Okay, Rui, thank you very much. A uh, very interesting presentation. Uh, you demonstrated the capability of OSC, not only to do linking, but also to as a rich uh, standard way to, to discover and exchange data, which is very interesting. Now let's see if we have any questions. If, please, if you have questions, please post them to the Q and A. Any or anything maybe on the Slack channel. Uh, there's a question from Ralph. Uh, so, um, so Ralph is asking if you use the basic OSC infrastructure to create data mapping framework that keeps the concept linked, uh, but also keeps the concept link. I guess R R Ralph, maybe I promote you and you can explain yourself because I'm not sure. Uh, Let me let Ralph explain himself. Ralph, Ralph, you can Ralph, you can talk now. Ralph, you there? Oh, uh, can I have your pardon? I I I, I maybe I'm, I'm, I I have not understand uh, the the okay, question. Very good. So, so um, I, I have seen I have seen uh, uh, David uh, ask me did did you investigate TRS? Uh, no, I'm not. I didn't. Okay. Any consideration uh, for auto optimization? Uh, next question is, uh, any consideration for opto, auto optimization loop? From, uh... Uh, the, the another capability of OSO, OSO service is the creation factory. And, but, just, but just now we have only finished, uh, achieved the querying query services. So if, if, we, if we can, we, we can achieve the creation of abilities for monolithic models. It is it can be very, uh, it can be very easy. It can be more easier to realize the uh, realize the uh, data interaction between architecture modeling and the simulation. Uh, I think. So I, I guess my question was: I think my audio should be fixed now. Um, oh. Can you hear me, Iran? Yeah, we can hear you, Ralph. Go, yeah, go. Okay. Yeah. 
So, so I guess my question was, um, if we talk about ULSLC, we very often um, talk about those domains like work items, like change management and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm, I think I got from your presentation is that you, you use the capabilities of ULSLC to, um, to transfer abstract data um, and to access abstract data using the, the graph methods um, to actually um, create kind of a common interface that you could use for all those different tools that stores different data. Um, and, and you could also um, use this information um, to, to keep data consistent because you would refer to, for instance, a value in some other module, a, a model, and that if you change the, the value um, that is referenced somewhere, then this would propagate to the other um, other model as well is is that kind of correct mm, yeah okay sounds interesting yeah very interesting uh there is another question from barry uh he's asking you what was the the hardest thing to get done in your project what what was the most difficult thing in your project um i think i think the, the semantic mapping uh, the establishing uh, the semantic, semantic mapping rules is the most uh, difficult because you 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 should you should uh, you should understand the the modeling structure and and it and its uh, grammar very clearly, and uh, in the adapter in the design stage of the adapter, I have made many mistakes and uh, return to and return to to design the architecture of the adapter just because I I ha I have I have not really understand the model uh, structure. Mm, the other the other things left is the is 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 the computer 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 combining things I think I think maybe we use uh use Java to to uh, pass the model. I think it might be um, different people have different ways. Okay, and I, I, I don't see any other questions. I have a, a, a question for you of you. How did you uh, learn the OCC practice? Have you looked at the, at the Leo project uh, on, on Eclipse or uh, you basically looked at the specifications and you implemented all the, the OCC core stack yourself? Uh, I have a I have a very good team, and and you can see in my in my presentation we have a we have a very we have we have a very 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 good tour for for adapter construction, and it it is it is it is it is at one point that le that leads my that is my is my uh. Uh, that uh, is my is my uh difficult to construct the adapter. So, and the OS also, a uh, course specification we 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 will, uh, we will just learn it together in our team and uh, communication with each other. Okay, but uh, you did not use any you know, open source code in Java in. In Eclipse, you, have you used any o, o, any of the open source code for S C or uh, you 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 programmed everything on your own? And um, the 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 Eclipse the Leo the Leo adapter I think is is the basic adapter example for us to develop to develop to adapters, and the okay. the, the data links is our uh specific technology and to construct adapters. Okay, so you did, you did look at Leo and at least Leo helped you to um, help you to understand how OSC code looks like. So you, you use it as an example. Uh, have a pattern. Yeah. 
Can I have your pattern? So sorry, uh, the, the, I think the, there is an, an, an uh, uh, there is another question uh, from Ravi saying not all the tools supports adopt OSLC. Uh, it would be good to push these uh, standards so it helps for integration. Else we have to build OSLC layer uh, for that applications. So this is true in general, Ravi. I'm not sure if you meant to use uh, the, the work of the, the team in Beijing or as a general comment. Um, okay, yeah, so that was more of a comment from, from Ravi. So I think we are up the time. Uh, Rui, thank you very much. It was very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, and thanks a lot for uh, presenting you and your team, and we have to shift to the next uh, presenter.